Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Gracie and you guys should totally join the girl gang and subscribe down below. Today I'm going to be giving you five, and I'm talking five simple tips to stay productive with online school or maybe just even school in general. You guys ask me all the time how I get things done, so I wrote a list down on my phone. Yes, I know my phone case is so cute. I love it. It's from Casetify. I will talk about it if y'all want to hear about it. And I'm just going to go through it super quick so that y'all can get some tips to stay productive and stay motivated with school. Okay, so my number one thing to do is to create a to-do list. I create a to-do list every single day. Here's my to-do list for today. I have this cute little um, notebook that's just a bunch of different days. I'll show you some blank pages so you can kind of see what it looks like. You can circle the day of the week and put the date, which you're grateful for. I love that little section. Your to-do list, it gives you a pretty long list. You can have your three most important things and all the rest. I don't really fill out the whole meals and snacks and water and fitness and things. Times to remember can be super important, but I do this pretty religiously on a daily basis because it helps me stay on top of things and know, okay, exactly what I have to do for today. Some days will be like, ooh, I need to do that tomorrow and I will automatically create a to-do list for the next day and add it to it so I don't forget. And it really keeps me on top of deadlines and all kinds of things like that. Number two, time block your day. This is something I kind of learned about um, in my sophomore year of college. And that's basically taking your day and breaking it down into hour increments, 30 minute increments, 15 minutes, if that's what you need to do. Basically say, okay, from nine to 9.30, this is what I'm gonna work on. From 9.30 to 10, this is what I'm gonna work on, especially on my off days. I love time blocking. Even if it's from nine to 11, I need to watch a two hour lecture or something like that. It'll be like, okay, it's nine o'clock, I need to do this. Or, hey, it's nine 30 I need to move on to this next thing I can come back to this I'll sometimes like leave myself some blank spaces to and um, have things to fill in and in that I do leave breaks for lunch and fun things to do but I will get into that in sort of the next tip but try it time blocking saved me especially when it was coming time to move out of my sorority house and I will link that video down below if y'all have not seen that, just a quick little plug. But even when I was moving out of my sorority house, you can sort of see how that time block worked for me. Cause I was like, okay, I'm gonna pack up from here to here, but I need to study for this exam from this time to this time. And you sort of break up your day like that. And it makes the day go by so much smoother and so much faster. I never don't know what to do during my day. Okay, so my next one is kind of what I was just talking about, the give yourself work then play. And what I mean by this is that, I don't know about you guys, but I cannot stare at a screen and do homework for like 9,000 hours straight. I need to break it up. I either need to go get a snack or I need to look at my phone for a couple of minutes. So my day might look like, hey, an hour of homework here. And then 15 minutes, which really turns into like 30 minutes of shopping. Like on Case Device website the other day, I was just on there buying some new phone cases because I'm obsessed with these. This is the one I put on for September because it's kind of fall vibes, this cheetah one. Um, and it's their ultra impact case. These things are like military grade drop proof. I have no cracks on my phone anywhere. Oh, there's my list. And I really do love these. And I know that you guys have been saying how much that you love your case to buy cases. I absolutely adore when y'all mention me in your Instagram stories and show up your cases. I know I'm 20 with my subscribers now. She's like, I got your same leopard case because I loved it so much. Leopard or cheetah? Comment down below on what you think it is. So if you guys want a phone case from Casefy, again, I would not be promoting anything I didn't absolutely believe in or love or the fact that I just got four new ones the other day that are coming in the mail. But y'all can get these actually 20% off by going to casetify.com slash Gracie O'Connor. And I will leave that in the bio as well or the description, whatever you call it, so that y'all can click on it and go shop on their website. Trust me. That could be dangerous. Maybe don't put that into your daily schedule because you can be on there for hours scrolling. There are so many cute ones. It is so hard to decide. So I know I was going to get a bunch of comments on that. I thought I would address it in this video. So keystobuy.com slash Gracie O'Connor if y'all want 20% off. Like I said, I absolutely am obsessed with these phone cases. So if you do get one, make sure either you can DM it to me or if you put it on your Instagram story, tag me in it. I want to see it. I want to respond. I want to talk to you guys. So definitely, definitely check them out if you're in need of a new phone case, especially a cute little fall one. So anyway, that's just a quick example of how to spend those 
play times. Maybe for me, it's creating an Instagram story or sitting down and doing something. I don't let myself get off track for too long, 15 to 30 minutes, sometimes 45 if I let myself watch a Netflix episode, if I've been really on my computer doing schoolwork a lot, but I really try and stay on top of it because my biggest thing is also getting done. I hate, and I mean I hate, doing schoolwork after dinner time. Like once it hits dinner, I wanna be done with my day. So again, here's where the time blocking comes in. I'll time block it out to give myself that work then play and then I'll be done by dinner and I can relax after dinner time, have my club meetings or anything like that, watch some Netflix. I'm watching Selling Sunset and I'm rewatching Outer Banks for the third time, you know, cause I'm obsessed. And those are the fun things that I like to do after dinner and I never want to be like, oh no, I have to like do this for school. So that's kind of what I mean by that. Okay, the next one has been a little bit more difficult because things are online and mine is make a friend in class. Sometimes you'll have friends that are in your same major and in your same classes already and you'll plan classes together or you'll see a friendly face in a class. I know that's accidentally happened to me in two of my classes, which is so nice. But the other thing is, is with everything being virtual and maybe you don't even know anybody in that class, how do you make friends? My friend Lauren said this to me the other day and I cracked up, but it is so true. She goes, I was on a Zoom class and I just scrolled through people's pictures and saw a girl that looked nice and DM'd her from the group me and we became friends just that they can hold you accountable. They can help you out. And I don't mean cheating. I mean seriously helping and help to motivate you. It's always nice to have a friend. I actually have Lauren in two of my classes this semester. And we text back and forth about assignments and how to do things. And it's really just nice to have a friend in class. So take Lauren's advice and maybe just like meet somebody via Zoom and DM them via GroupMe or DM them on Instagram. I know it kind of sounds weird, but trust me, you'll be so glad to have a friend in class. And my last tip might sound a little dumb, but I mean it because I do it for myself and I love it. It's to set weekly or monthly. Usually I go for more monthly, but some people are more week to week people. So weekly or monthly goals, or maybe even it's a GPA goal and stick to it cross those things off the list. I'm very list oriented, like you can tell with my to-do list, but even in my agenda, it gives you a space in the front. I have an Erin Condren planner. I will link that down below. Um, cause I know a lot of you guys ask about it. And at the front, it gives you a place to like put some monthly goals, things you want to do. And whether or not that's school related, it's nice to have goals. And at the end of the month, be proud of yourself for reaching those goals. Of course, make it an attainable goal because you don't want to put anything that's too far out there. But even if it's like, get a 95 on my first test. Like give yourself those goals and I promise you if they're attainable, you will push yourself to reach them, seeing them written down on paper. Don't just tell them to yourself. You could type them on your phone or write them out. I feel like seeing it on paper, like pen to paper written out, I'm like, I gotta do that. I gotta get that done. So I definitely recommend that to stay productive and stay on top of things, especially when things are so virtual. I feel like I get lost with all the emails and things. I really have to write things down and remind myself when things are, okay, when I, when do I want this done? I have a project that's not due till October, but I'm trying to get it done at the end of this month so I don't have to worry about it when it comes too late of time. Those kinds of goals for sure help so much to stay on top of things. So those are my five tips for staying productive and on top of everything that you've got going on, especially with online school and different various methods of how classes are working this semester and potentially for the whole year. So I hope that you guys have gleaned something interesting from this and that it's helped you down below. If you have any more tips that maybe I don't use, but you use and you want to help somebody else, make sure you totally comment that down below. I know that that can be such a help to other people. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below and go get yourself a case by case. If you want to match me, like again, please DM me. I cannot wait to see what cases y'all pick out. There were so many I want. I'm sure I'm going to be so jealous if you guys get the ones that I want, which is like all of them. So let me know if you guys do that. It's case to buy.com slash Gracie O'Connor for 20% off. Anyway, I hope you guys have a fabulous week and I will see you soon. Bye.